it was pretty neat. You, it, it, my father, from the from my first memories, he worked for Walt Disney, and Walt Disney was a living icon. Uh, was as famous and as well known when he was alive as he is now, and uh, so it was pretty neat. It was pretty special that your father worked for Walt Disney, and in those uh, early days. In, in the 50s, uh, the studios worked Saturdays. That was a full day, but you didn't go to school on Saturday. So often, my father would take me to work, and I can remember going to the to the lot, um, to the Disney lot. And then when they were filming 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea over at the Searson Tank over on the Fox lot, going over there on Saturdays, and that was so cool because you could run around all the sets and, you know, they weren't shooting on them, obviously. And it was the best playground you could have, as well as the kind of the glamour of shooting movies, watch them shoot movies, as long as you kept your mouth shut and stood off to the side. Did you ever uh, help your father? Well, I, uh, my father, at the, at the time of shooting 20,000 Leagues, had gotten into a position where uh, Walt Disney wanted him to be there for a lot of the shooting, especially the miniature shooting. But he also had the responsibility of doing these very large map paintings, and the map paintings had to be especially large because the film was shot in CinemaScope, and the depth of field was very problematic, and so you had to paint a larger painting than you normally would to keep it in focus. And I can remember that he would be out there, literally outside, painting on these very large paintings, about four feet by seven feet. Um, and sometimes I would go and I'd paint in a corner a little bit and paint. And he'd, he'd let me do it, and I, I know darn well he'd come and fix it up later. <laughs>